Hi everybody, Andrew Morrison here with a straw bale minute for the professional or want to be professional. I've had a number of people contact me saying, how do I, how do I become a straw bale builder as a profession? Um, one, you obviously have to have the skills of, of a carpenter and have the, the understanding of how to run a, co a construction business. So that's, that's one piece that you could probably find answers to in a lot of books and talking to other contractors and working in the field for a while. Uh, so you need to get those basics under, under your belt first. Now, if you're already a contractor or a builder, uh, but you do, say, conventional construction and you want to get into the straw bale world, the, the biggest thing is that I would suggest is to uh, try to find a way to come up with building some straw bale homes. Either uh, work with another, another contractor in the area who does it, or uh, take on a spec job, uh, buy some land and build a straw bale house and get it out there as a showpiece. And the reason for this is that most people who haven't heard of straw bale construction you won't be able to explain it to them. They, they, they tend to just say, ah, that sounds kind of scary, I'm not sure I want that. Whereas if you have a model home or some sort of spec home that you can walk them through, uh, what I do is I often don't tell the people that it's straw bale. I walk them into the home, we walk around, and they say, man, this just feels incredible, this is beautiful. Wow, look at how thick these walls are. And they go on and on and on, and they start to just revel in how beautiful it is. And then they say, well, why are the walls so thick? And then I can tell them, well, it's because it's built out of straw bales, and let me tell you about its efficiency, and let me tell you about the soundproofing, and let me tell you about the fire resistance, and give them all the advantages of using that system, and they're automatically sold. And most people want to see that it's beautiful, and then learn about all the cool stuff that it brings them in terms of efficiency and, and so forth. So if you can come up with a way to, uh, like I said, get the basic skills that you're going to need to run a business as a contractor and the hand skills you'll need to build, then go out and build yourself a straw bale home and use that as some type of showpiece to give to other people as they come in and they, they say, hey, I want you to build me a house. And instead of trying to change their mind right away and say, hey, have you thought of straw bale? Walk them through, let them make the choice, and you'll see that, in fact, uh, you get a lot of people who turn towards straw bale. Good luck. Talk to you next week.